What's up, everybody, and happy 4th of July! It's your buddy Double Shot here, jumping into the Japan series. We're going to try something a little new uh, that we normally don't do. So here you go. You know, I, I'm not sure how the drifting works in this game. I've never tried it. Uh, so we're going to go with the good old steady time attack at Tokyo the with the RX-8. Use the handbrake to kick off the drift, then feather the throttle and brake to maximize it. It's a combination of speed, angle, and distance. It's a battle of three rounds. The winner will have the best combined total of all three. Pretty awesome, huh? Now, I haven't tried any drifting, but you will see some of that in the future. Uh, leave a comment. Do you want me to try it out first <laughs> and then start posting videos? Or do you want to see it all in its entirety? Because at this point, it will probably suck ass. So you let me know what you want to see, and we'll go that route. Uh, but I just want to post a video on the 4th here just to say happy day. And uh, before I get too smashed up to, uh, you know... Touch base with you guys. Been showing me a lot of good support for the Need for Speed Shift series, so thanks a bunch. You see here we got the old RX-8, and I think that I'm uh, maybe playing a tier higher than what I'm what the car is geared for because I, I don't have that great of a racing lap here, but uh, you know I get blown out of the water, so I don't know. I'm definitely over breaking the first lap, but I haven't played shift in a long time. We're playing a lot of Call of Duty and you know, Forge is the bomb. But it's just a good little break to get away from, you know, the same old, same old, and it is a fun game, so we're gonna keep playing it on. Oh man. I got three days off for the fourth of July and I thought I was gonna get a break, you know, just relax, kick back drink some beer. Well, I've been busy all three days. As a matter of fact, I'm getting ready to go out and cut the grass, so no rest for the weary. Uh, we're doing the cookout thing later, so got deal with the in-laws. <laughs> you got any good in-law stories? Post them in the comment box. I'm sure everybody will be entertained. You know, these time attacks here, they're, they're okay. You got a possible of six stars. So that's basically what I'm looking for is the chance to uh, advance the game fast. Uh, we're already on tier three, so it won't be long. I think there's about five tiers, something like that. You gotta complete tier four and then go to the, to the last one. But we're cruising right along nonetheless. You see here, I'm not doing too bad. I just you know, I can't I can't seem to catch the guy in front of me, even though I do make a pretty big food bar, but it gives a shit. Uh, also, I want to let you know we did get a winner for the Maserati Gran Turismo video. I will be posting that right along with this, along with another giveaway video, so if that's why you tune into the page, then you can check those out. Just, you know, I'm ready to get these cars off my hands and ready for further more. What the hell? Who put those barrels in the way? Seriously. Oh well. Just another <laughs> instance of proof that I'm not really that good at this game, but uh, it's just my avenue to come in here and talk shit, so that's what we use it for. Also, I want to get you guys connected up to Twitter. I'm starting to use Twitter and I'm starting to get followers. The Twitter is double shot of JD. This might throw you off. I'm not going to do like a separate Twitter for this separate account. I'm going to keep everybody in one central location. So there's going to be people that, you know, are more Call of Duty oriented on there. Uh, but there's also going to be people from this channel as well. So twitter.com and uh, double shot of JD is my, is my name. These damn barrels. <laughs> like a damn rodeo. Fucking rodeo clown. 
Oh well, I screwed it up. But I'm in second place, so I'm still going to get a good amount of stars. And that's what it's really all about. These uh, races are starting to get longer as well. The Call of Duty videos are about 10 minutes, so I don't mind. I'm pretty, pretty used to those, but I probably won't talk my way all the way through these. Just, that's because, you know, it's just random stuff here. But I'm getting a little more comfortable. If I'd have raced another race with it, I'm sure I would have done a little bit better. But I think I can upgrade and still be eligible for these races, so I might do that as far as the car goes. And I will be uh, ready to buy a new car. So uh, for the next tier, for tier three, I believe. So leave a comment on what car you think I should get, or if you have any good suggestions, you let me know. Uh, I'm willing to try about anything, uh, but uh, if I don't get anything, any comments worth a the shit, then I'll just pick the best one because I can pretty much tell through the stats. And it actually took me playing Shift 2 Unleashed to figure out what the works thing was. So that's how I ended up with this car over, I believe there was an Audi or a BMW that was a little bit better. Uh, but it didn't have the works, so I was like, well, I don't know what it means, so I'll just get this because it's got the works. And I know it has to do with upgrades. Well, come to find out, you can fully upgrade it to the race version and things like that. So that's not really important for what we're doing here. So the works don't mean shit. We're just going to pick the best car to roll with it, unless you guys got one that, you know, you've had a lot of success with or that's really fun to drive. Then you can let me know. And uh, that's about it. As far as the Shift 2, I had one person ask for Shift 2 Unleashed. Um, I'd love to put some up. And I, I probably will. I don't know if it's going to be like a complete playthrough like this is. It might just be like little tidbits. But if you guys want to see Shift 2 Unleashed, uh, the full version like this, leave a comment. Because if, if I don't know that anybody's actually going to watch the crap, then I'm not going to go through all the trouble. Uh, this does take a little bit of time out of my day. Not a whole bunch, but a little bit. You know, I'm not going to post this for one person. <laughs> I might post one video for one person, but not you know, the whole game. The whole game will take forever. Uh, plus, I've, I've got it figured out pretty much. By the time I beat this, Forza 4 will be coming through. Uh, but that's it. You see, I got a solid second place. I ended up getting, I think, five out of six stars. So, pretty good effort on my part for somebody that doesn't play this game very much. But... Uh, Thanks for watching. If you're still here, be sure and click the like and subscribe buttons. All these videos are in the playlist. Uh, if you want to watch them all in order, feel free. And follow me on Twitter, Double Shot of JD. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.